Hey everyone, it's your buddy Crypto Profit back with another video, and today we're going to be taking a quick look into Anchor. Anchor is definitely a coin we talk a lot about on this channel because of the outright amazing potential we see in Anchor in the long term future. So, because of that, if you guys are interested in Anchor, make sure to subscribe to the channel, turn notifications on, and like this video. As we jump into Anchor, we see a 6.33% increase in the last 24 hours, which is very, very solid. Obviously, continuing to see gains in Anchor. In the last week alone, we saw about a 10% increase, even with these big market dips to 10 cents, we saw it recover very, very well all the way up to at least a 10% increase or 9% increase, I should say. So we continue to see you know growth in Anchor, even with market dips like this. In the last month alone, we do see a 25% decrease. However, obviously, you know we are still recovering from those market decreases. We're just uh, you know, doing a very good job at doing so. So we've recovered very quickly. I think by the end of April or early May, we will easily see a new all-time high in Anchor. And we'll talk about my price predictions for April, May, and 2021 at the end of the video. So make sure to stay tuned for that. We do see the market cap at that $1.2 billion right now and the volume in the last 24 hours at that $305.9 million. And then we have the circulating supply being that $7 billion Anchor. If you guys don't know what Anchor is, I'm going to give you guys a brief description and then we'll jump into some of the Anchor news and information that has been coming out recently. So Anchor is an Ethereum token that powers Anchor, a Web3 infrastructure and cross-chain staking DeFi platform that aims to make it easy and affordable for anyone to participate in blockchain ecosystems by building dApps, hosting nodes, or staking. The Anchor token can be used to pay for services on the Anchor platform, such as node deployment and API services, participate in on-chain governance, and also act as an insurance for network participants. So if you guys didn't know what that really meant, we'll dive a little bit deeper here in just a second, and then we'll come back and do those price predictions. So for First off, today we are talking about the coin of the day by social activity is Anchor. So we see a bunch of different things here that really give us this idea. So Galaxy score 75 out of 100. Uh, they talk about the average sentiment, the social impact score, and the correlation rank, as well as the alt rank score on the right. We see that volume 24 rank is 69. Um, you know, you can take this as you will. I'm not going to go too much deeper into this, but you can see all the stats at the very bottom. So social volume, 24 hours, 1.9K posts. Social engagement, obviously that 1.5 million social engagement and uh, so on and so forth. So it looks like we are getting some good movement in Anchor. A lot of people talking about Anchor. Uh, I'm sure a lot of people are happy with our most recent 24-hour increase of about 6.33%. A lot of people think Anchor is actually going to be doing exactly what Polygon just did in the next couple weeks. So we'll continue to monitor Anchor and see if that's going to be the case or not but you know i will be given my price predictions and uh you know i'll give you exactly where i think they'll end up being for anchor by the end of april may and 2021 here in a second so jumping into our next tweet we see for which lt salute or sorry l2 solution should we provide an api so this is big obviously anchor if they want to grab um you know, one of these L2 solutions and provide an API that would see some good growth uh, in Anchor and obviously the L2 solution grabbed. A lot of people talking about Polygon, obviously Polygon, and they have an API service for Polygon already. Um, so obviously he didn't know that, but there is a lot of L2 services here. And if you uh, you want to dig through some of these and see which one you guys think, you know, maybe they'll grab next, that could be a good investment opportunity for you guys to really get into that L2 solution before it happens. Um, but I do think we are going to continue to see uh, Anchor reach out like we, um, you know, like they want to. They want to continue this growth. They want to continue this, uh, you know, API really a providing API, I guess, for these layer two solutions. So let's jump into the next one. So this is more of a speculation post. So a lot of people hoping that Visa CEO says payment giant is moving into crypto into a very big way. So if you guys don't know uh, the Visa CEO, a lot of people are hoping that they grab Anchor as you know the staking solution or really just Anchor in general. And I, I will say um, that's kind of a far fetch on this one. I don't think that's probably what's going to happen. I would love it too if you know they grabbed all of these coins, all of these altcoins, and really made them work. However, I don't think in this case that's going to be uh, what we see. I think Visa CEO is going to grab more coins that you know they can provide trade with, um, and maybe dig a little bit deeper into their funds uh, to maybe provide more, um, you know, more quantity of, like I said, quantity of coins available to trade. So uh, I don't think that's going to be the case. I don't think Anchor is going to get anything out of this, unfortunately. But if they do, I do think it would be big for Anchor, a very big opportunity um, if they can get something out of this. But uh, we'll see what really happens with that in the future. If we go to the website, I do want to guys kind of guide you around what Anchor is uh, really capable of doing on their website. If you go to anchor.com, 
You can see in the top, our ETH2 staking solution has launched. This is the biggest reason a lot of people are using Anchor. Um, obviously, you can visit that right now. Staking Simplified, they talk about how it provides staking services for Ethereum 2.0. Anchor's ETH2 staking protocol and platform combines staking and DeFi, implementing elements from traditional staking with non-custodial management, micropools, instant liquidity, and decentralized governance. So you can see that there's over 47,000 ETH staked with Anchor right now and over 2,542 stakers at this moment. We can actually see a little brief um, overview of how to really go about doing it and it gives you a complete guide on really how to stank with, uh, stake with Anchor and it's actually very, very simple. If you go down here, you can see, like I said, that micro pool staking manager, staking liquidity and security and then you go down here and you can see how to calculate your earnings. So let's say you put in 107 ETH. Well, guess what? You're going to get 7.13 ETH on the return. So let's just say, let's do a more realistic number. Some of you guys, maybe some of you guys just have two ETH. So you have $5,369 at this time, jumping into the staking. At the end of the year, you'll get that $357 back in return at this, if it stayed the exact same, obviously ETH hopefully would increase in value at that point and you'd get more than that back but uh you know you get that 1.13 eth back in general so that is really really how staking works in web 3 um, or i guess anchors web 3 makes it very easy to do so if we go to anchor um the actual website and jump down to the bottom here they do have you know like i said 40 blockchain protocols for staking or developing purposes that includes obviously polygon already we've talked about that so matic right here we have polka dot uh, Bitcoin, Celo, Binance, Elrond, uh, Bit, Bifrost. We have some big, big names, Avalanche. Um, but for the most part, like I said, staking is what a lot of people come to Anchor to do. They have staking nodes, developer APIs, enterprise solutions. So a bunch of different things, uh, really utility that it makes Anchor what it is today. So we see 8,000 plus nodes deployed and it's trusted by blockchain pioneers around the world, obviously, including big names like Binance, Harmony, Scale, Stacks, uh, you know, just like I said, a bunch of a bunch of big names. Uh, if you continue down, you can see more of the information on the team as well as the vision. We're not going to go through all of that today. We're going to jump right back to those price predictions because that's what most of you guys are here for anyway. Just getting that brief update on Anchor and then jumping into price predictions. So April, where do we see Anchor? I'm hoping Anchor will continue this increase. We do see a nice increase in the last 24 hours, but I think we could actually increase up to about 18 to 20 cents. That would be a solid price target for the end of April. Remember, we only have you know three days, so there's not going to be much much movement. Well, I would love if there was, but I, I would just, I would predict that there is not going to be too much more movement. I do think we're going to continue to increase uh, after this little bit of a decrease we saw from about 17.5 or 17.4. Um, but, you know, I do think we'll get back maybe to at least a roundabout number of, you know, 18 to 20 cents. That's pretty good price target for us for the end of April. By the end of May, I think we will continue on the right direction. I think it's going to be a big altcoin month for uh, pretty much every altcoin in general. Uh, May is going to be, you know, one of those months that a lot of people are going to be wishing they invested during these dips. So I think Anchor is going to be one that uh, moves its way up to about 25 to 30 cents. Uh, that's almost a 2x. And that's going to really show you guys that uh, Anchor is here to stay. It's going to make its way to 25 to 30 cents, in my opinion. Um, you know, that's going to be my price target for May. I also want to say, guys, I'm not a financial advisor, so always do your own research. And I also want to say uh, that I always try to keep these price predictions on the conservative side. So most likely, they will be higher than my price predictions. I try to keep them away from the hype of the coin or, um, you know, really just trying to keep them as low as possible with uh, trying to still predict the right price. So I think 18 to 20 cents by May, uh, 25 to 30 cents by, or sorry, no, sorry, 18 to 20 cents by April. 25 to 30 cents by May. And by the end of the year, this is where I think Anchor could do a bunch of different things depending on a lot. Obviously, we have st a lot of people staking already. So those are guaranteed to continue to have support from those stakers pretty much. And because of that, I think stakers are, I guess, Anchor is going to continue to increase in value because I do think there is a lot coming and they're already talking about new APIs for L2 solutions. I think Anchor is going to continue to increase. And I think, you know, right around a dollar is a reasonable price target for Anchor. That would be over a 5X already. And I want to say, you know, 90 cents to a dollar is my price prediction and price target is more of about 80 to 80 cents to a dollar. I know, I know that's a little low, but do remember guys, I'm trying to keep my price predictions on the reasonable and realistic side. And when I say that's really low, that's not low at all. We're still seeing over a four X in less than, you know, eight months. Um, so it's very, very, very reasonable price prediction at the same time though. Uh, I do think it's possible to see an 80 cent price point for anchor, uh, but 80 cents to a dollar is something I would love to see in anchor. And I think it's definitely a reasonable possibility to see it. So thank you guys so much for stopping by. Make sure to leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think about anchor and where you think it'll be by the, this time next year. Um, 
as we continue to look at Anchor in future videos. Make sure to subscribe to the channel, turn notifications on, and like the video. I'll see you guys all in the next one.